So the last couple of years I've been using running as a tool um, you know, to build up my mental strength, confidence, discipline and uh, my fitness and stamina and also to overcome a lot of my well, a lot of my insecurities and my you know negative beliefs from a child and bad beliefs or fearful beliefs and the reason why uh, I honestly believe and, and chose well running as a big part of a, of a tool to hopefully achieve that because nothing's certain is because my experience when I was younger boxing in the amateurs um, when I started boxing, I was very insecure. I had a lot of anxieties, fears, insecurities, and also goals and dreams that I really wanted to achieve. Besides enjoying fitness, I always enjoyed fitness. So I didn't know, maybe I had an idea, but I didn't know for sure until I, until I trained for a couple of years and got myself, I got myself fighting fit. And I remember um, before I boxed, we had to go in and um, see a doctor. We had to check our like, heart rate fitness and I remember the doctor saying to me that I was really fit my heart rate and I couldn't believe it that I was so flattered because I still didn't think I was that fit anyway that whole sort of time boxing over over a few years boxing at different uh, amateur clubs uh, I, I really I really understood the power of being fit you know and putting in a lot of training to get there how that makes you confident it doesn't happen overnight it doesn't happen you know in a couple of weeks it's something that is something that occurs over a long period of time and at some point you start to become aware that this change this positive change is happening and you're really you know you're really pleased it's happening I was so pleased you know because growing up always feeling insecure and always feeling not good enough most of the time but always having a little bit of belief something in me said that I could do more in my life I could achieve things but it was always kind of overpowered and overshadowed by massive amounts of fear and anxiety and self-doubt and you know and what I later realized now massive part of it was you know OCD not to make excuses so a lot of mental issues and insecurities and just so much negative thoughts and doubts so during those experiences of training and getting fitter and fitter and seeing the progress that I was making again which didn't happen overnight and there were so many times where I just walked out of the gym and thought I'm just not good enough I'm gonna quit I just can't do this anymore I'm not getting nowhere I just felt like I wasn't improving in terms of my boxing my fitness my courage the sparring um, and my, my goal was to at least have one amateur fight, at least, at least at least do one fight, which I did. So that experience years ago when I was in my 20s, um, now obviously in my later years, 41, and before I kind of started this running journey a couple of years ago, uh, I had that experience. And as I said, during that time, it, I didn't just do boxing, you know, just kind of standard foundation of bag work sparring skipping which i did i went out and done a lot of runs night runs um also ran with boxing clubs you know sprinting up primrose hill did weight training so so i had the experience but obviously later on i got out of shape um, i built a successful business um when i was doing dating and relationship coaching i built a successful business you know my kind of 29 30 31 had a couple of years being very happy, successful girlfriend, financial freedom, and then I had a mental health breakdown. I got hit with a challenge and then I put on weight, was on medication um, at age 30, 34. And then that was my goal again. I was like, I know how to get I know how to get my confidence back. A lot of it is from a lot of it is through facing fear, if not all of it. But the way I was gonna do that was through the medium of training, um, like I said. So now I'm still on that journey and I've got a lot of new challenges at the moment. As a lot of you know, um, these challenges feel like the hardest challenges that I've ever had to deal with compared to my old ones. But you always kind of feel like that when you look back on the past because the past is gone and you're experiencing now. So that's why I'm continuing to run and I enjoy running. And to be honest, I was never good at running. Um, never really enjoyed it when I was younger and now I do enjoy it. Um, I really like what you get out of it and I'm still on a journey you know every every single day before I run I don't feel good at it I don't feel confident at it I don't feel um I don't really feel satisfied 
most days because it because memory is short you know for me you forget i'm super grateful when i do it even i'm talking about it now it's it makes me feel like it makes me feel like a special sort of feeling of gratitude but i'm hard on myself you know what i mean my mind is really tough at the moment with the challenges that i'm going through so i'm going to continue running because i just want to um i believe it will help me to overcome challenges in my life and i want to help more people get back to you know there's more things i want to do get well again you know because i'm going through a lot of a lot of challenges grief financial problems feeling like a failure right now so that's the reason why i'm doing the running because it works you know it really does and also training and i'm gonna con i'm continuing i'm basically doing the same regime that i did years ago but the difference is i'm running i'm running further and more i'm better at running now where where i was younger i did running but i didn't run as long as i'm doing now almost like half marathons getting close to a marathon i'm up to three hours so I, i'm challenging myself because it, it, it mentally does challenge you it really does and also getting inspired obviously by david goggins and other runners and people that run and people that are into you know not just getting fit but conquering your fears changing your life being disciplined you know being a positive example etc so there you go